Greetings, greetings, and welcome to Heal Talk Tuesdays. This is Lisa. It's so good to be here with you. I I am so grateful to being here. You know, a while ago I started um, this uh, one group called Daily Gratitude, and I hope you join right here on Facebook. But today I want to talk about our health and how we um, get to take our health for granted. You know, <clears throat> especially during this COVID, um, a lot of people have been sick and so many have recovered and there are, you know, just when we thought we are at the tail end of it, um, I got it. I got tested a week ago and it was positive and you know, I had uh, tested for so long and it's been negative and uh, not realizing how it hit me. So it had me down for approximately three days really bad. And, uh, but here's one thing that on my third day after the first days of chill and everything, I thought of one thing. If I can utilize hypnosis for so many things, why not uh, utilize hypnosis for uh, using it on, uh, uh, on myself, for my health and well-being? So if you realize the COVID-19 pandemic has led to increase in major uh, depressive and anxiety orders uh, worldwide you know it it hit us in such a way but it's not only getting sick it's uh, how do I maintain make sure that uh, it doesn't transfer especially living with um, elderly at home my mom and not to infect her so she tested we tested her twice and she's negative and uh, the first time i was positive and then yesterday i was negative so it's like it's not so much about the positive and negative it's just like wow we're constantly walking on eggshells who's positive who's negative are you contagious are you not contagious and realizing that it's it, it's in the air we're all going to get it some of us are going to be symptomatic and others are not so in a way it's affecting us emotionally physically mentally psychologically so the part of the hypnosis is it left did you know that COVID-19, the pandemic led to 28% increase in major depressive disorders in just 28% more just in the last uh, six months. And we're not talking about in two years that we have been going through because it has added so much of not only depression, it added on to panic and anxiety, um, loss, loss of a loved one, and then dealing with that, not being able to see them or being distant from them. So all this happening, and I wonder if you were affected and how you were affected. Because when it shut me down, it was very gentle. Um, I got the pains and the ache and then feeling fatigue and then suddenly within like 15 minutes my throat started scratching and it was exactly last tuesday when we did the session with my dear friend chris goda that i was already scratchy and once we fit, finished i was like within an hour or two later i had to go home I could not stay and function anymore. So it hit me on my throat. So the three days was, I had not slept 
18 hours <laughs> in God knows how many years. I don't think I've ever slept so long uh, back and forth. So I was shut down for two straight days. Uh, so the reason is I could have got up, I could have done a lot of things, but I gave myself permission to stay put and just do nothing. You know, I always talk about it. So this, there was no anxiety. There was nothing. I just gave myself permission for my body to get to that level of pure rest and healing. Now, another thing that happens is uh, Thursday, I started utilizing hypnosis. And the same way as I guide everything that I do, going from the top of my head, every ounce, every level of first, I started with the face, with the head, the congestion area, the sinus area and everything I might even still sound like I feel I sound uh, from the tunnel so I did all that work in order for the healing uh, so all the sinuses open my throat becomes much smoother easier every aspect of my throat my tonsils so i started working every organ every tissue every nerve right around here so giving the healing energy and asking the body to do its own healing and then went down to the throat area to my shoulders all the way down so i just it was the head it was the chest area, working with the chest and the lungs and the heart, pumping the oxygenated blood so I could feel it. And even the sound, every aspect of it. And then I got to the point of the chest area, expanding the chest to the rib cage, expanding the rib cage and then working through it and sending the light and everything all this with being in bed and doing nothing else except my own guided visualization all the way to the tip of each and every one of my toes and then all the way back so this thing i did it for approximately two days in a row by a friday afternoon I was doing so much better, but not good enough to go to my uh, seminar retreat that I had only to make sure that nobody else, if I was contagious, no, I'm not affecting anyone else. So I did miss an incredible uh, place to be, but understanding that a key to coping better with stress is learning how to think in a way that allows this stressful triggers um, to be diminished and we heal within. So a part of healing is a healing beyond a recovery. You know, we recover physically and then we recover physically from loss we recover physically and mentally from all kinds of losses a loss of a friend loss of a loved one loss of a relationship loss of a job or a anything so even recovering from a habit an addiction right when you recover that means you feel healthy enough but have you truly healed the the scars have you healed the cause of it have you healed the, uh, which is the true healing the emotional connection to all that and that is where the hypnosis the hypnotherapy truly comes in which is the anxiety making sure that it doesn't start again making sure that you are safe 
and healthy and well enough. So someone asked me, what does uh, hypnosis have anything to do with COVID? So during COVID, not only as adults, but many children were also affected. And here's the thing about hypnosis. Hypnosis delves deeper into our subconscious mind, right? And if you didn't realize um, so many during this time have been affected with COVID, it affected their uh, bowel syndrome, their IBS, anxiety set in. So it's an internal, anxiety is internal. So what hypnosis does is helps you with calming every nerve, every muscle, every organ, and you can do this once you learn how to do self-hypnosis, you can get yourself to a point of utter relaxation and then to a shutdown so you can relax and let go of the worries to sleep so that you can relax all the nerves in your stomach area and have a better Bowel, uh, bowel movement, which is your digestive tract. And also, so many have said that during COVID, when someone has it, it affects their sense of smell and taste. Uh, thank God, um, I did not have enough appetite, but the sense of smell and taste was very much intact. And I did my own testing. You know, one of the things is as I was making soup for my mom, I would pick a lemon and taste the lemon, squeeze the lemon in my mouth and make sure that I embedded the taste and the smell, even the texture of touching the, the outside of a lemon. And that's one of the biggest tests. You can even do it right now. That if you close your eyes, just gently close your eyes for a second and imagine a lemon. And just imagine a lemon and then imagine picking that lemon and putting it in the palm of your hand. Right? And without doing anything, just imagine touching the skin of the lemon, the edges of the skin, and you realize that you can feel the small little bumps on the skin of the lemon. Now, if you could just put that on a cutting board and take a knife from the drawer and cut the lemon in half, and then take half of the lemon, put it on the side, and then you take the other half of the lemon, or oh, make sure you put the uh, knife on the cutting board also, and then you take the other half and you bring it close to your nose. Just imagine, can you smell the lemon? And if you were to gently squeeze it in your mouth, can you taste the lemon? Because without even having a lemon, I bet you anything, you know the color of the lemon, you know how a lemon, the skin of a lemon, an orange, they all differ. How it feels. And then, if you can taste it, and by tasting it, you swallow your saliva. And if you can just for a moment, imagine if you can swallow your saliva, did you taste it? This indicates that even when it's, there is no lemon, once you know what a lemon tastes like and everything, and every 
essence of who you are already it has embedded that image within you that is called hypnosis the power of hypnosis is utilizing something that you already know which is not real at that moment become real that is the power of not only your imagination it is the power of hypnosis but most importantly it is the power of your subconscious so if your subconscious already knows everything about a lemon the real lemon and then your imaginary lemon can you realize that if you can use this you can also utilize the power of hypnosis to heal every aspect of your body because if it knows how to be healthy and your commands to your body every essence of your body from your sinuses from your throat area from your chest from your rib cage all the way down to your heart all the way down to your stomach into your bowel movements to your digestive tract even to your legs and asking your body to begin the healing process right begin the healing process sending it love sending it healing sending it all that it needs for it to rejuvenate and become healthy is exactly what i did and so can you now it doesn't matter if it is covid or any other illness it's realizing that once you have that healthy image of you the healthy image of you dancing of you being productive of you exercising you walking you being present that is exactly what you do with your closed eye to let go of the stressors let go of the worries let go of the pain let go of everything in order for you to have that healing after the recovery happened the healing after loss the healing after worry so when you heal within you realize that what your subconscious not subconscious mind does not understand the reality of it or if it is an imaginary once it is embedded inside into your mind into your vision and it feels very much real and you step into it that every nerve and every muscle every organ every tissue starts doing exactly what you command it so if it is sleep you need it will sleep will give you if it is rejuvenating and healing and becoming better is exactly what it will give you so if you have any more questions by all means just send me a message let me know i'll be more than happy to help you guide you delve deeper within for you to heal within and help your body heal so you can sleep better rejuvenate better release the stressors and know that you deserve a healthier life for you and for your loved ones so this is lisa by all means i am your host every week at heal talk tuesdays and until next tuesday i wish you an incredible healthy journey in a week god bless you and may the universal light surround you until next week bye bye thank you for being here if you want to check out some of the testimonials that i've got click right here but if you want to go back and watch other videos from a week ago, two weeks ago, even a year ago, click right here. See you next time.